Well, the national unemployment rate is a sky high 9.1 percent, but the number among black Americans, well, that's jumped all the way up to 15.9 percent. And this has the Congressional Black Caucus complaining that the president isn't focused enough on jobs for black Americans. Here to discuss is Deneen Borelli, Project 21 fellow and a member of the Tea Party movement. So, Deneen, is it President Obama, is it his indifference or his policies that's really making life much harder for black Americans and everyone else. His policies are harming all Americans. I don't care what your racial background is. And for the Congressional Black Caucus to come out and claim to criticize him, they're part of the problem as well because they're for the, his progressive policies. Policies that have, as you mentioned, unemployment is over in the black community, 16%. 40% among black teens. In Washington, D.C. alone, it's 50% among black teens. So they are certainly part of the problem. You know, to that point, when I, see, when I hear Maxine Waters uh, complaining about these solar jobs, you know, here's the real deal. When I was a kid growing up in Harlem, I would stand in line for these job programs. And it was kind of heartbreaking. 17 years old, standing next to a guy 45, 50 years old for these same low-wage jobs that only last a short period of time. Why does the Congressional Black Caucus continue to promote these policies and they haven't worked for 60 years? <laughs> That is a good question. And they remain in office. And that's another question. Why do individuals keep supporting these initiatives when we know that they're not working? But you know what? Here's another thing that really has me annoyed. The leader of the Congressional Black Caucus, Andre uh, Carson, okay, his comments that he made uh, for hanging blacks from trees. Are you kidding me? That is the most outrageous, ridiculous thing I have ever heard coming out of the Congressional Black Caucus. And those are grounds for him to resign. That is what he should do. But at the end of the day, I guess that they, they, they had an opportunity when the president was elected, in my opinion, to... You can go two ways, you know, NAACP, uh, Congressional Black Caucus. You can try to help people out of a sense of fear, like we've pr we're protecting you. Or you could have said, hey, we got a guy, went to Harvard, did it, you know, did it the right way through education. But they're clinging to fear as a way of promoting all of these failed policies. Well, you know what it is? They're trying to keep Americans on the government plantation. They're also trying to hold on to their power and their control. And one of the things that when they're criticizing, for example, the Tea Party movement, they don't want that message of liberty and freedom to be communicated to them. So they're using these scare tactics, these fear tactics, and these are outright lies. And people, they need to be called out on it and be held accountable for these comments. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that they, they they won't be called out on it, you know, and I find it offensive in a way that the president would say, hey, listen, after the Giffords incident, let's all dial back the rhetoric, but he never says it to the NAACP. Yeah. He never says it to the Congressional Black Caucus. So That's his base. <laughs> well, yeah, but, I, so, right. but here's the thing, though. His base is suffering. The base has suffered Absolutely. for a very long period of time, and you can't go out there and say we're going to dial back the rhetoric and then let people make these kind of irresponsible comments. Well, again, you know, he hasn't said anything. Uh, you know, I hope more and more people speak out against this because this is just really, really outrageous. And, you know, this, I have, I'm very concerned because this is something that could incite racial tension in our country. Right. You see the black teens that are doing the flash mob. I mean, this is something that could really escal escalate that, the, that uh, these, this mentality, and that is something that we don't need in our country right now with high unemployment and people suffering uh, high record numbers of people on, on food stamps. This is, this is the last thing we need to Well, they're happening. promoting food stamps as a, as a sign that they care about Absolutely. you, not, not that a sign that the policies have failed. But before I let you go, the president and Democrats in general for a long time, for decades, have more or less taken the black vote for granted. Uh, the president had this tour recently in the Midwest. It was all white cities, you know, with low single-digit unemployment. Has he more or less said to the black community, you're going to vote for me no matter what? <laughs> well, that seems to be the message. But, you know, look at the policies. Look at what the agenda that he's pushing. His policies are causing more and more individuals to be dependent on government. And to me, that means they're going to be on the government plantation. They're going to be there for a long time. All right. And to your point. Uh, black, uh, the number one employer of black men now is uh, the government. It's so uh, not, they're not going into entrepreneurship. They're not, you know, going through the corporate structure. It's all government. And that's, that's frightening. Yeah. A lot of wasted talent. Yep. Thanks a lot, Deneen. Appreciate it. Also,